This is the tool hour magnetic helping hands soldering station with fume extractor. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get a lot of stuff, but it's real easy. So we'll start from the beginning. First of all, if you get the base, everything here is magnetic. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. You have a nice solid metal base. nice heavy metal base like that everything like I said is magnetic and will go right on it so you get a uh, vise over here we can open that up stick that on let me get something to put in there in fact we'll just use the uh, alligator clip just because it's here and there you go it'll hold it and everything is right there for you just like that so that's easy enough they give you a soldering iron holder right there you know what to do with that you put your soldering iron in there and that'll hold it out of the way so that's convenient they give you a clamp okay like I said everything is magnetic sticks real nice you can adjust this at any angle basically the way it works this is all tight you loosen that and the entire thing can go in any which direction you want tighten it up this way and it will hold and the clamp you can loosen and we'll stick this guy in there for example okay and that can hold that right there just like that so you can work on that or whatever you want to do this also can be used to hold a hot air gun if you're going to be doing a rework or anything like that on circuit boards you can put your hot air gun in there which is nice and convenient uh, it also will hold a soldering iron I'm gonna need that so let me get it just to show you you can put your iron in just like that and it will hold it Bear in mind, tip always up. If you point it down, not only won't it hold nicely, that iron handle is going to get really hot, and you're going to be really sorry once you grab that. So we'll take that out, and then you get some other items. We'll undo that, put that down. Circuit board holders, also magnetic. Okay, like that and you can put a circuit board there I'll show you that in a second by the way you get rubber feet for the bottom of it and an additional rubber pad if you need there that you can stick on it let me get a circuit board there's an old stick of memory so I have this just kinda sitting there but it can go into the little holes in the PCB and hold that together just like that we'll get these out of the way now and one more thing you get over here is the lamp now of course you get the power adapter with this power adapter right here plugs into a standard outlet has a barrel jack connector which goes on to the lamp which you will notice has a fan okay so this is a solder fume extractor and lamp in one also magnetic really magnetic and you can put that to light up the surface and also turn on the fan to extract the fumes like that I'm going to demonstrate all of that to you in a bit once I get everything all set up these are goosenecks over here once again magnetic like that and these are for the alligator clips the way that goes together I'll take the clip they give you one extra one by the way just goes right in there like that and then the screw will go in right over here and now you have an alligator clip like that that you can use let's do the other one right quick for a second here put that together so once again goes right in just like that and get the little screw for it right there 
there we are. And you can do that. And now you can use that to hold certain things. So it can hold the RAM if you want like that. And we can use this one here to hold it there. Nice and sturdy. And of course you get two more of these right over here. Okay, that are longer. And again, old goose snack, just like that. So you can do that. And they give you three replacement filters for the solder fume extractor. Let me go ahead and put all of this together and then we'll go ahead and solder something with it. So this is kind of what it might look like in a use case scenario. Here's the lamp. Let me show you that. We can turn the lamp on with the little fob. Turn it on there. You have three color temperatures as you see and then off. So you have cool white, warm white, and then a natural white or neutral white I should say. You can dim that. So we'll leave it there, turn it off, turn it back on. It remembers right where it was, so it'll come back to that. We'll do that for the fan. You just press the fan button. And that starts up, blows out the top like that. Let's solder a piece of wire together, give it a shot. Soldering skills are up to you. This is strictly for demonstration purposes only. Let's go ahead and put our light on. We'll take that one there, put the fan on. I have a piece of wire here that we're going to solder. If I can find the end of my soldering iron, I mean uh, solder spool, it'll be all set. Take this, put a little slack on that. We'll go ahead and tin that. That should be good. You can see how. It takes the fumes right away and they don't go up top and out up here. So it definitely works in that regard. Go ahead and heat this. This is actually some pretty thick wire and this is kind of a really low power, maybe a 25 watt or 30 watt soldering iron, a vintage, vintage Weller iron from I think the 1970s. And this is the uh, my go-to iron. If I can get enough heat on this wire, we can actually solder it. There we go. That's doing pretty good. I'll give it some more. And you can see any of the fumes right there. There we go. Go right up into the fan. We're done. Put the iron back in there. It holds it just fine. There's our soldered wire. We can take out of the thing there. It's still hot. Nice tight connection. Won't go anywhere. That's perfect. And then your hot air gun, if you have in the holder in the back there, you could take that, put some heat shrink tubing on that, and go ahead and shrink that down. And then you have a nicely repaired wire as such all while the alligator clips here held everything real nice for you like that and the light so you could see what you're doing and the solder fume extractor all at the same time you still have two more alligator clips there to hold more stuff to hold PCBs right here you have these right like that a vice in the back so you really have a lot of functionality here a lot of different options to choose from, a lot of different things that you can do with it. All around a really nice soldering station helping hands from Tool Hour. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.